I'm Richard Roper, and coming up next, we could be looking at two Oscar nominations for the acting in Dallas Buyers Club. My review right now. In the most stunning weight loss by an actor since Christian Bale and The Machinist nearly a decade ago, Matthew McConaughey shed some 40 pounds from his already slender frame. He's portraying Ron Woodruff, a Texas cowboy and electrician who was diagnosed HIV positive in the mid-1980s. McConaughey is virtually unrecognizable were it not for that signature drawl and smile. These are patients? Yes, sir. They're also the names of players on the Dallas Cowboys. That's a hell of a coincidence, isn't it? Once we get past this stunning transformation, we're transfixed by a performance that reminds us of why Matthew McConaughey became a movie star in the first place. Based on true events and only occasionally succumbing to the schmaltification of the story, Dallas Buyers Club is set in Texas rodeo country in 1986. McConaughey's Ron is a grimy, shady, homophobic, substance abusing horn dog who won't believe it when doctors tell him he's HIV positive. Convinced AZT just makes you weaker, Ron delves deep into his trick bag of charm and deceit to figure out ways to procure alternative, unapproved methods of treatment. He forms the Dallas Buyers Club. There's no charge for the drugs, but there's a $400 monthly membership fee. Do you like this dress? Because I think the neckline's a little plunging. Ryan, the whole purpose of this study is to determine if AZT is helping people. Come on, Evie, you know there ain't no help in me. That doesn't mean I'm going to stop trying. Jennifer Garner is wonderful playing the empathetic Dr. Eve Sachs. Jared Leto, also having shed an alarming amount of weight, disappears into the role of Rayon. He's a transgender drug addict who befriends Ron, even though Ron is initially repulsed by Rayon's flamboyant style. Like McConaughey, Leto deserves serious Oscar consideration. Hey, thanks for coming. To Wildflowers. And Bob and Ribeyes. Mostly and always, though, this is Matthew McConaughey's movie, and what a masterful job he does of portraying one of the more deeply flawed anti-heroes in recent screen history. Through his friendships with Rayon and the good Dr. Eve, through his struggles against the profit-hungry drug companies and the sometimes unblinkingly obtuse FDA, Ron discovers a level of humanity within himself he never would have known existed had he not become so deathly ill. We start out loathing this guy, we learn to love him. It's an amazing performance from McConaughey. I give the Dallas Buyers Club an A. I'm Richard Roper. You get all my reviews at richardroper.com and at reels.com. Mm -hmm.